Why, one may wonder, did early humans venture into the deep, dark recesses of caves? What drove them to explore these inhospitable environments armed with nothing more than torches for light? The answer, as presented in a recent paper, may lie not in the physical, but in the psychological. The paper presents a novel hypothesis about what led humans in the Upper Paleolithic era to penetrate and decorate these deep, dark caves. The researchers proposed that the use of artificial light in these caves significantly reduced the oxygen concentration, inducing a state known as hypoxia. This condition is known to increase the release of dopamine in the brain, resulting in hallucinations and out-of-body experiences. This hypothesis was tested by simulating the effect of torches on oxygen concentrations in structures similar to Paleolithic decorated caves. The results showed that the oxygen levels quickly decreased to levels that are known to induce hypoxia. This means that when our early ancestors ventured into these caves, they were not merely exploring, they were embarking on a journey into an altered state of consciousness, led by the flickering light of their torches. The caves were not just physical spaces, but psychological ones filled with visions and revelations brought on by the low oxygen levels. The researchers also discussed the significance of caves in indigenous worldviews, suggesting that entering these deep, dark environments was a conscious choice, motivated by an understanding of the transformative nature of an underground, oxygen-depleted space. The cave environment was conceived as both a liminal space and an ontological arena. This means that the caves were seen as thresholds, as spaces of transition and transformation. They were not just places but portals, gateways to a different way of being and seeing. The decorations on the walls of these caves were not the source of their significance, rather the significance of the chosen caves was the reason for their decoration. These were not just random doodles but sacred symbols imbued with meaning and power. In conclusion, this novel hypothesis presents a fascinating new perspective on why early humans ventured into deep, dark caves. It suggests that these journeys were not just physical but psychological, a deliberate choice to enter an altered state of consciousness to connect with the cosmos and to leave their mark in these liminal spaces. It's a testament to the complexity and sophistication of early human thought and a reminder that the human quest for understanding and connection is as old as humanity itself.